here is kind of a multifaceted project. The family that owns this piece of woods here that we're cutting in, they are in the Chapter 61 program, which is a state program that defers taxes for people who commit to keeping their forest as forest and not developed. The management plan that applies to this land here has prescribed that the area get thinned out, get some new trees growing, diversify structure, and then he's got a grant for forest thinning for forest health and wildlife habitat. So that's the other thing that, that we're achieving with the same management goal is when we're dropping the trees, we're increasing the amount of woody debris on the floor, we're increasing the structure of the forest. There's a lot of forest birds and wildlife that really benefit from that kind of thing. So there's the grant piece and then next door up the hill here in the background is John Holden's property and he's in the middle of getting ready to renovate his house. So there's about a two acre area here where we are pulling some of the trees out with the tractor, bringing them up the hill and milling them with our portable sawmill and he's going to use that wood to construct a timber frame to renovate his house. This is the kind of thing that really gets me excited because it's it's just like local use. There's very little fossil fuels that we're using to generate all this material. The material is getting cut here, brought up the hill, and then it's gonna be in the house. So we're actually gonna be sequestering carbon with this management activity, even with cutting trees. There's ways to do that that are carbon positive. A lot of timber is grown down south in plantations. You know, it's gotta be trucked up here, wrapped in plastic. It's just a much higher, you know, environmental impact than doing something really local like this. For us, the timing was right so that we could build out this addition and most of the house will be built from wood that is uh, less than a thousand feet away, uh, which is pretty exciting. So my background is in arboriculture, so I'm a certified arborist through ISA. We have the ability to kind of be in-house, like we have a, a licensed forester that can come do the, the forestry side of things. And then we also have the crews that can do small scale logging operations and then we also have the sawmill so like we have the ability for somebody with a very small piece of land and we can kind of come do all of it so we've got a sort of log landing so we can drive the tractor up out from where we're skidding do a circle basically once we hit the logs on the landing we use the pv or the can hook that puts them on the loader arm we're going from our longest one which is 27 foot 9 by 14. That's a that's a big beam. Like today, we're gonna cut everything we can on our landing. Woodsmith is doing the logs and milling right now while we're cutting the frame, which is really convenient. They'll be done, and then we'll be here finishing up. But it's been really great having them right here. Also, there's a little less pressure. If we mess up a, a beam, we can just come back and say, pull another one out of the woods. Let's let's do it again. We're gonna pour a proper foundation. Uh, and then build this new frame in its place. The left-hand side there, is an addition that was added probably late 1800s, uh, but we like the size. So we're, we're gonna really keep a lot of the same footprint and try to preserve the historical character. They've been great to work with. Yeah, they're knowledgeable, they're responsive and, and flexible too, and they've really delivered. It feels uh, very authentic to do it this way. You know, I couldn't be happier. A little bit more if you could have. There's such a drive for local food in our area that people have really embraced, which is awesome. Really a lot of the same concepts apply to, to forests and, and wood products. You know, it's, it's all the same economics and environmental impacts. That's our hope with our business is to really drive that part of the economy, the local wood, and the connection too. I mean, John's up the hill there gonna be sitting in his house looking down the hill. It's, it's kind of priceless.